Hello, Jamie Rogers here from Craftmania, and today I am bringing you an incredible little gadget. Now, these are just a few of the cards that the design team have created with these, and we'll delve in more and look at these. I'll tell you more about them shortly. But this is what we are looking at, this little magic box here. This is a round magic stamp. Now, I'm actually going to take this one out to share with you what this is. This is a foam disc that we can heat and we can take impressions from loads of different items and turn them into stampable images. So when we look on the front card here, for instance, with the lovely um, leaves running across that, that was actually an MDF leaf that Lynn has taken an impression with her magic sponge and then turned into a stamp. But it doesn't stop with MDF. You could be using your dyes to take impressions from them. You can even use your clear and your rubber stamps, take impressions from these, and then stamp the positive or the negative to the opposite of what you've got. You can take prints of embossing folders, and you can actually stamp the same image as what you're going to be embossing. You can use stencils to take lifts from, and you can even go around your house and find things like this, which is a soap dispenser from my bathroom, that we are also going to take a print off of and turn into a stamp. Now this disc is only £1.50 and that of course is on special offer. Now we have a limited number of these, we have had all of the ones that Crafts 2 have in stock so there is limited amounts of what we can offer you. I would stock up, I would get a couple so you can keep images stored on them, you can use both sides but even then you're still going to want more than just two on the go at a time I feel so you might want to get a couple of these pop on to www.craftmaniacraft.com and as you know, either if you're on a desktop, go to the YouTube tab across the top or if you're on a mobile device, click the little three lines and it will drop down and you can find the YouTube bit. Click on YouTube and it will take you through and you will see the video for the round magic stamp and on there will be all of the bits that we're going to be talking about in today's video but stock up while we've got them only one pound fifty free uk pmp when you spend over five pounds and of course international shipping is still capped at only ten pounds so let's delve in and have a play so to use our magic stamp, all we need to do is apply some heat to it. When we heat the foam, it will take on impressions, basically. So we'll heat it up, and then we'll push it into the object that we wish to take a print of. In this case, the first one we're going to use is this lovely lattice die by Sue Wilson. And we're going to take an impression of that so we can then stamp with it. So I'm going to speed up the heating process because that's a bit boring to watch. But you're going to heat for a good sort of 25, 30 seconds. But you'll soon know when it's warm enough. And obviously all guns will sort of vary, even the same brand. So make sure that you're sort of aware of when you feel it's warm enough but you'll soon get the idea. Let's give it some heat. And we're then gonna firmly push this down on top of the die to let that pattern transfer from the die and onto our magic stamp. So when we lift that off, you can now see that that pattern has transferred perfectly. We've got a nice raised depth to this, so we can then apply some ink. For this one, I'm gonna use VersaFine Clair, but to be honest, I've experimented with several different inks and found that I've got great results with both of them, or all of them, I should say. So we're gonna apply the ink over the top here, just as we would any stamp, and apply this down onto our cardstock. Now, I love this because it means I can go around my home, I can go through my craft room, and I can start finding different items that I've got to start creating backgrounds with, to start stamping with, to start making up my own patterns, my own designs, my own different variations on things I may already have, like my dies. It's just bringing that in and taking on a whole new purpose with things I may already own. And of course, it doesn't just have to be our craft room. This can be anywhere in the home, the garage, or anywhere else you go that you feel that there is a texture or an impression that you would like to add onto your sponge. As long as you can get heat in that area to apply onto your magic sponge, you're gonna be able to take an imprint of it 
and turn that into a stamped image. Now, as you can see, very quickly, we can turn this into a nice big background. For me, this one's given a bit of a teenager vibe, possibly a retro vibe even, or it could be Christmas because it's nice and red, could be romantic. We could die cut out of this, we could emboss it. We could turn this into a whole host of items. And the only thing I've added to my craft stash to turn this die into a stamp is my £1.50 magic block. Now, once you've done your first impression or as many stamps with that as you'd like to, I'm just going to clean this off and then we're going to take it and we're going to turn it into our next design. So a little bit of a mist of water, taking that excess ink off onto my towel so that I don't have that on there for long. I don't mind if my stamp does colour, that's not a problem. And of course, you can use cleaners on there if you prefer. But I, I'm going to be stamping with red again in a minute, so it's not a problem if I've got a little bit left on there. We're then going to bring in the heat again. Now, I can still feel the texture. That's still ready to go. I could re-ink with another colour. I could make as many backgrounds of that as I want. And I could leave that impression on there for as long as I wish to. But actually, we want to show you some different prints. So I'm going to speed up from here, add in some music, and you can watch me just take some different prints of different items and stamp them out for the next couple of minutes. So hopefully here at this point, actually, I will just show you, we are now back to that being a flat sponge, ready to take on our next impression. So although you can still see the pattern on there from the ink, we are smooth and we are ready to go and we are clean and ready to work again. So let's add on that heat and bring in the next item. So for our first sample here, Lynn has actually taken the top of her radiator as the item going around the sides here and actually stamped with the block that she's taken an impression of the radiator from to make them lovely lines. In the middle here, Lynn has used a stencil, one of our woodware stencils, taken an impression of that and turned that into a stamp before stamping this lovely cityscape across it. So that's one idea. With this one, we had a little look at at the beginning of the video. That one was using an MDF leaf and taking a print from that and then turning that MDF item into a stamp, which again works brilliantly. Another one coming up here, this is actually the Pebble Mosaic stencil that Lynn has taken a print from and used to stamp around on this one, which again just works incredibly well. Then this one here, this is a different one using one of the embossing folders to create a stamp with to be used on the outside and on the bauble in the middle. 
Then these ones are quite different. This one's quite a fun one. Lynn has actually used it to stamp within the different items throughout the house using different pieces for each one. So we have got Oh, a bottom of a basket. We have got a bow embossing folder that we've used for one of them. We have got a pebbles embossing folder that we've used for bits of it. So again, all different pieces that Lynn has used and then matched up and paper pieced by stamping the item several times to build up. And then this one, to give you even more of an idea of what's been used, this I thought was a great idea. So we struggle for teenage cards, we struggle for men's cards sometimes. The colours to this one, very masculine, very beautiful, very lovely. Love the layout that's been created. And then the bit that I thought was really clever is on the inside it says, guess what I stamped on the front of this card with answers in the pocket, did you guess correctly? So your recipient is going to look at the outside and try and work out what the items are. Now if we delve back into here, on the little tag it tells us as we go around the wheel here that we have got a wooden MDF ship's wheel, we have got a radiator top, we've got gem mesh that's been used to take a print from, we have the remote control for the TV, we have a print from a packet of foam pads, we've got net curtain, we've got the video controller and we've got quickie glue pens, quickie glue pens in a line, what a great idea to make this pinstripe here and then even the top flower is shaped from the top flower shaped paint palette oh i love it so even this bit is taken out of a paint palette and so is the bit in the middle there isn't that just an absolute ingenious idea and what a lovely little quiz for your recipient to take part in when they receive their card i bet you could have great fun making little treasure hunts up with the impressions maybe to keep the grandkids or the children entertained through the school holidays as well by just taking impressions from around the home, stamping them out onto a little quiz card and seeing what answers they come up with. So hopefully that's given you a few ideas on what you're going to be able to create with our incredible magic stamp pad. Now as I mentioned they're only £1.50 each and they're available at www.craftmaniacraft.com where you know in the UK your PMP is completely free when you spend over £5 and if you'd like to have one of these sent somewhere to you elsewhere in the world that's not a problem. Our international shipping is capped at just £10. Thank you very much for watching and we look forward to seeing you all again soon. Bye for now.